Right, so what we're actually going to do here with this is uh, we're going to try some fake fractal burning. Uh, obviously I do fractal burning, but lots of people don't like fractal burning, it is dangerous and I've always wanted to try doing some CNC fake fractal burning, see what it turns out like compared to, to real fractal burning. So that's what we're going to do, we've got this board set up on here with a nice bit of oak and we're going to make a chopping board that's got some fake CNC fractal burning on it. So. We're going to go set that up, get the program ready. So here we are at the computer and here's what we've got set up uh, for our fractal burns. So there's our board and this is the uh, fake sort of vector fractal burn I've created. So we're going to run that as a V-carve toolpath and that should create us a sort of fake fractal burn. Uh, let's try that. So if we go to, we've got our V-carve here see the fractal burn vector that I created is selected and we can run calculate that it's going to show us what it's going to do we'll simulate it so there's our sort of fake fractal burn v carved into the wood and then I'm going to do a outside toolpath just to cut that chopping board out uh, and then we can fill this with resin. I've left a board around the outside of a uh, 10 mil, just so uh, the uh, resin doesn't run off the board. Uh, probably could make, maybe bring it down to five mil, so it's a bit closer to the edge, but you get the idea. That's, uh, that's what it's gonna roughly look like, and we're gonna see what it turns out like when we uh, fill it with resin. So let's get that to the machine. So for this process, we're gonna use our Amana tools. Uh, see if I can get that in there on the focus. This is all my tools V bit. Just got some new tips in there. It's replaceable tips. Uh, the other one was a bit lost. It lost its point, so I've just changed them over. Use this for most V carving. To be honest with you, it's a great little tool. Uh, they're not the cheapest, but they do do get what you pay for, and they are great. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to go with on this. This is what's going to do the fractal pattern. Just going to get it set up in the machine. We can get it running. There's the fractal burn engraving finished. Then all we've got to do is go over it with wire brush. You see, could have used a clearance bit before I used the V carve. Would have cleared out some of the middle a bit quicker, but it's getting resin over the top, so it won't matter. You won't see any of that. So we can just. Uh, Get the worst of it out with the wire brush and then um, move all that up and get ready for some resin. So here it is after the uh, after the resin's been put in. That's just some uh, glue around the outside to stop the resin running off that I've just got to finish cleaning off. But you can see it does look very fake fractal. So 
let's get all this resin cleaned off and get it back to a, back to a nice smooth finish. So after I did a little joke post on uh, TikTok, follow me on TikTok if you don't already, um, everyone recommended that when doing this resin rather than using sanding discs, because uh, they clog up obviously, to try these mesh pads. So I haven't tried these before, so I've just got some in. Amazon of course, quickest way. Uh, just got these mesh pads, gonna give these a go, see how they go on the uh, resin. But as you can see, done a little bit of sanding with the sandpaper first, and then we'll uh, try these mesh pads. So let's just slap this disc on here. Let's try a bit of sanding. Taking the worst of it off already. Yeah, they're working pretty nice, pretty nice, liking the look of that. Right, let's go through the grits. Get this all off, then go up the grits. So I'm impressed with these mesh pads so far. So here we are, we've added these, we've added the roundovers to, with the router to the edges. And I'm up to what am I at? about 120 grit, I think I'm on. Um, so it's looking good, looking good. Could be one of the nicest uh, boards I've made so far. So yeah, liking that. Uh, I'm gonna finish off the other grits and then get onto that sexy oiling and waxing. So we're up to 240 grit, uh, everything's down to 240. I'm gonna now just wet the grain, just to make the grain, raise the grain before I do the final sand, which is the uh, 400. So I'm gonna do the 400 after I've let it dry out from wetting it, and then uh, we can get to that oil shop. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little inside secret here. If you use a pink towel rag, you get a better finish. So I'll just wet the grain. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that all dry out. Give it its final 400 grade sand. Look at that. So before we do the final sand, I'm just gonna uh, put one of my maker discs in the back there. So they're available in the shop, shop.smallycatcreations.com. Just gonna stick one of them in the back. So forcing a bit and then some two part so that's our little force and a bit hole pocket. It's gonna go in there like so. Some two part epoxy, good to go. So this is just like pound land, two part epoxy, cheap stuff. Does the job, never seem to, never seem to break free. Get some of that on there. I was using Aldite, but I got a dodgy batch from a, uh, I got a dodgy patch from Amazon that was actually said only for resale in India on the back and it never cured. Um, bought a pack of five Aerodites, two part epoxy, and it literally never cured. So I sent those back. Just give it a good mix. You don't need a lot, just, just a little tiny, uh, just enough to stick to the back of the disc. Just get a tiny bit. You don't want too much as it will just, uh, it'll come out the sides. So just get that in there, get that level. So 
that's it. We'll just let that cure in there. You know what time it is. Oil time. Don't forget your little pink cloth. Mineral oil. Just get it on there. Look at that pop. Just got to do the whole board now. So we'll take a look. Alright, let's finish the board, then we get the wax on. This is the wax I'm using, WD Crafts um, wood wax. So we're going to get some of that on there. Get a nice bit on the end of the cloth. Rub that in. Silky smooth. So you can just see the little bits of white I added in. Not too much, just put a tiny little hint of white in every in a couple of places. Just finish waxing that and then I'll show you the piece. There she is. All waxed up. Radius edges. The old maker badge in the back there. All finished, unlike my wood workshop, which as you can see is not finished. I'm really pleased with that, very nice. So what do you think for the old fake fractal burn? Do you like it? Safer, doesn't have that chance of electrical shock. And uh, turned out really nice. So if you like that, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. If you want anything custom making, get in touch. And uh, thanks for watching. Give this a try if you're a CNC person. And uh, there you go.